What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Last Raps Baseball video. Today we're going back to the land of the rising sun and we are going to open some new product from the Hiroshima Toyo Carp. 2020 baseball cards. I know that uh, that uh, certainly on this side of the, the ocean, it's been difficult to find new product. And we've just got our shipment in of uh, different stuff to look at because I'm getting pretty tired of watching the top series one and opening day and heritage breaks online. So hopefully today this will be a little bit entertaining and some people will be able to uh, see something a little bit different. So the Hiroshima Toyo Carp play uh, in the Japanese league and there's 12 teams in the league. There is uh, two divisions of six teams and one is the Pacific League and the other is the Central League. And the Carp play in the Central League and of course they're in with the Hanshin Tigers uh, who are based out of Osaka, Japan. And then of course the uh, Yomuri Giants who are from Tokyo. Um, and the Carp were basically a 500 team last year. They were 70 wins, 70 losses, and three ties. Yes, three ties, and we'll talk about that at some point in our videos coming up. They play a 143-game schedule, and last year there were three, four big leaguers in the Carp lineup. Uh, Chris Johnson, Johnny Helwig, and Casey Lawrence, all arms. And... Um, you know, uh, this year, uh, Chris Johnson is the lone holdover. They added DJ Johnson, Taylor Scott, and probably the one with a bigger name is Venezuelan Jose Perella. And Perella last year played with San Diego and with Philly, and he spent parts of five or six years in the bigs with the Yankees, the Padres, mainly with the Padres, and then, of course, with the uh, with the Phillies last year. So uh, this is this particular box is just dedicated to the carp. Today we're going to open a quarter of the box. Tomorrow we're going to do another quarter. Uh, on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday we'll do another quarter. And then we'll be done with the carp and on to something else. But uh, at least this will give you something to, uh, to be a little bit different and something that we can, we can take a look at and hopefully, uh, hopefully enjoy. So I've uh, cheated a little bit. I cut the corner a bit so it would be an easier part to break. But uh, let's go in and have a look and see what uh, the Hiroshima carp have to offer. And so these cards are produced by BBM. BBM is stands for Baseball Magazine. And Baseball Magazine is uh, produced, um, it's a, uh, well, there we are, that's kind of neat. There's our little backdrop for the carp. Uh, Baseball Magazine basically produces, um, let's see here, let's go, uh, I guess we're not going to go in groups of, I was going to do, there's 20 packs in a box, so let's do these five here first and then that saves us uh, some stuff for uh, for the future so one two three four and five so there's our Hiroshima cart pencil case in behind and we'll put the carp over here so we can see it so today we're going to do five packs tomorrow we'll do five more and so on and so forth uh, we're looking for uh, are we looking for autograph cards yeah there's autograph cards in here and there's all kinds of different stuff the inserts and so on and so forth but the carp, uh, basically uh, six cards to a pack, and uh, each pack, uh, obviously, it's its own uh, own deal. And for those of you who want to see the odds, uh, who do speak Japanese, or maybe who want to figure out a translator, there are the uh, there are the odds. But anyways, Baseball Magazine is celebrating its thirtieth anniversary this year, thirtieth anniversary, and. Um, uh, they, they produce a regular set, and then they also produce a set for every single team, each team. And I have a feeling this is going to be a bit of a challenge. So I've got my trusty scissors beside me, and I think we're going to cheat a bit. And we're going to lop off the top, and we'll get that going that way. And now that should help us be able to get through the package of cards. All right. Okay, so here we go. Card number one out of the gate. And the first one is Shota Nakazaki. He's a pitcher for the Carp. And the next guy up we have is Ryutu Hatsuki. And I apologize if I'm making uh, um, a meal out of some of these names. Yuta Nakamura. Yuta Nakamura. Uh, and there is one of the cards, one of the current stars, Ryus, uh, Ryus, uh, Ryusuke Kikuchi. Kikuchi was, is a middle infielder, and he was actually posted, uh, meaning that uh, he wanted to come to North America to play this year. And uh, back in, what was it, November, December, and nobody took him up. Middle infielder, slick fielding, national team guy. 
uh, but uh, Major League Baseball didn't uh, didn't have a need for him. Uh, he's second baseman, shortstop, probably projected as a second baseman uh, in the major leagues. Kasuke Tanaka, and lastly we have Norahiko Tanaka. So, who are the big stars uh, that have played for the Carp in recent years? Well. Alfonso Soriano, who is probably arguably the biggest name, uh, spent, I think, five or six seasons with the Carp before he came to North America. And then Colby Lewis was a pitcher. I believe Colby Lewis spent time with the Texas Rangers for a little bit, came over. And he basically went over to Japan and, and I don't want to say rebuilt his career, basically built his career. And then, uh, and then uh, ended up uh, bouncing back to North America and and pitching a few years in the big leagues, and then actually went back to Japan to finish off his career, and I, I think he's all done now. So here comes uh, pack number two, and as you can see, these things are, are well sealed and uh, pretty difficult to get into. So here is number two, and so we have uh, Takeyuka Yazaki, a pitcher. We have Tomiko Ishihara, who's a catcher, and... Atsuya Hore, who's a pitcher. And ooh, there we go. We got uh, Sly Lai, who is their mascot. Got to have a mascot card in here somewhere. And so it even uh, looks like they even have some stats on the mascot or something along those lines. But yeah, there's your mascot. And then you got uh, Sho Yamaguchi. Sho Yamaguchi. And lastly, we have uh, Akitek Okada. Okada. Pitcher. So there is your pack number two for your Hiroshima Carp. Pack number three, as we break back to the scissors. Got to do the scissors, it looks like, each time. And to help us get into the package. One thing that's kind of neat is uh, I have seen some autograph cards. Oh, and what do we have here? We have a supreme glory of Saya Suzuki. And so obviously a, a insert card. And uh, of course his stats on the back. And you can see they, uh, they mix some English in with some, some Japanese. And of course if you have a translator you can pop onto it and have a look. Supreme glory, Saya Suzuki, kind of neat. And then you've got uh, Yoshida Isamura. Uh, we have Akoya Takahashi, uh, Ren Nakata. Looks like we have another colored card coming up here. Oh, we've got something neat. We've got a red hot. Um, Masato, let's see if we can get it there. Ma Masato Morishita, 2020 carp, red hot. And then uh, last, I think but not least, is the uh, uh, Kyoya Nakamura. So there we go. So we picked out two inserts out of that pack. So not a bad looking pack and kind of cool looking inserts. I like that uh, that one. Let's see what we have here. Here comes pack number three. We got to try to find our way into this. In pack number three, we've got uh, Tomoki Ishihara catcher I think we've already seen him but he's a rookie we'll take the rookies and then you have Atsushi Nagai outfielder and then you have a Konya uh, looks like uh, Fuji uh, Makaro Kimana and we have another insert card and so high rising high rising Daichi Osara Daichi Osara and then we're back to the top again with uh, Imamura. And so last one for today, we're going to go uh, pack number five on the day. We'll get this one ripped open and we'll see what we have here. And for those of you who are interested, these will be appearing on our eBay page uh, this week here. Obviously, uh, Getting carp stuff on in the North American side of things is kind of difficult, but this will be the last pack that we're opening today. Takudo Naka, Naka, Nakagami, infielder. And then we have Shogo Tamamura, pitcher. We have Kazuki Yabuta, another pitcher. And then we have uh, Yuta Shirahama, catcher. 
And uh, then we have um, Yoshi, the infielder. We're back to the top, and, and uh, Kokuba, and so on and so forth. So there's our, there's our guys, there's our group, and that's our break for today. So I don't know. I don't know what you think. If uh, Please leave a, a, a comment in the comments section. Obviously, if you're new to Japanese baseball cards and are interested in kind of what they look like, they're really high gloss. I like that. They, they do a pretty good job. There's our high rising. Here's our, uh, what do we got, Supreme Glory. And then we had one other one. We got a red hot one in here. And the red hot rookie of all things. And of course, there's our uh, Sly Sly, or Sly Lie, who's our, uh, our mascot. And so that's what we have for today. So we'll be back at it again tomorrow. We're going to open another uh, round of five packs of Hiroshima Carp cards. So I'd like to thank everybody again today for taking the time to watch the video. Hope this is something a little bit different for our North American audience that they might get tired of looking at the, uh, the major league stuff. So uh, if you're new here, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you like what you saw, be sure to hit the thumbs up. And thanks again for stopping by, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. This has been another Last Rouse Baseball video production. Have a great day.